Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 24 of my Let's Play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Alright, first thing. Tr strictly speaking, this is about the red orb. So we explain to the Queen Elf. I see. But the Elf Princess is hard for people to meet. She was raised rather overprotectively, and as a result, she's kind of a complete recluse. A recluse? Well, she's a recluse, and she's shy around people. And she doesn't really meet outsiders. But, at least as an attempt, why don't I contact her through telepathy? Yes, go ahead. We need to convince her somehow to meet with us. Okay then, I'll make a call to her. Please wait. Hello. Hi, it's me. Ah, yes. It seems like you haven't changed. Ah, no, no. Anyway, right now I have a visitor. They need the red orb, and they want to meet you. Etc. Explanations. So, we'd like to introduce them to the, the village. No good? Well then, then you can go to... Yamatai to... Look, you can't just keep saying that being a recruiter for the rest of your life. Get over it. Get a head outside. You're going to pass out of marrying age here. What do you mean I'm sexually harassing you? I'm worried about you. That's why I'm saying it. And we, how long are you going to keep talking about that you, that the dreamlike crap? There is no such man as that. You need to look at reality. Huh. One-sided phone conversations. So just how is this conversation going? No, oh, well. She has this idea in her mind of the ideal man, and she doesn't want to meet anybody else. And anyway, this ideal man of hers doesn't exist anywhere. He's short in stature and fairly skinny, young, and has a kind of slack job feel to him. He lets people push him around, in other words. And he's very, very sweet and kind, but he's absolutely wonderful with a sword. He's got these peaceful looking eyes which hide a fighting spirit and if times are tough he'll jump in and save me. Also he needs to be good at cooking and inexperienced in sexual relations. He needs to be of a high bloodline and fairly young. And anyway, there is, where does she plan to search for such a man anyway? If there is one. Nah. Hey, Queen Elf. Can you convey to the Elf Princess a vision of Luca? Yeah, sure. Just pull out your cell phone and take a snapshot and send it over. Hmm. Luca. Alright then. So, don't move. Alright. As I... As they... Uh, a vision of Luca as seen through my eyes has been sent to her. Okay, it seems like she'll want to meet you. The place where you'll meet is the Amatai Snake Shrine. It went well, but that still leaves me unsettled. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, the Amatai Snake Shrine. Let's meet this recluse priest, uh, princess. Well, even if it was just a little, I'm glad I could be of help. If there's anything else, please ask me. Yeah, sure thing. 
She says that she, since she's rested, she's healed her wounds. So is there anything else we need? Yeah, join my party. Oh, you want me to make me your ally? I said I would help, but to go on a journey with you. In that case, why don't you show me proof that you're a strong person? How about trophies, two of them, from the Colosseum? Show it. So, show us. Show you we're strong, huh? The fact that we kicked your ass doesn't count? In any way. I had heard that the Queen of the Elves was a secretly a Colosseum fan, but to think that rumor was true. No, that is a completely baseless rumor. I have no interest in such a barbaric thing as the Colosseum. So, these two trophies, the silver trophy and the gold trophy, get them and bring them to me. In order to get the silver trophy, you need to complete a race, mm, race competition, race match, there we go. Any race will do, you just need to get your first title. As for the gold trophy, you get that in the survival course. If you win 10 times, at that time you get awarded it. Oh. You're pretty well... You're pretty well informed about this. I'm not particularly well informed or anything, but... Get those two trophies. If you can do that... It's proof of your power and I'll be your ally on your journey. Great. And this is the Queen Fairy. She's recovered too. So, what do we have with her? Become my ally. Alright, I'll come along with you, but before that I have a request. There is an item called the Hide and Seek Trophy that exists somewhere. A certain fairy uh, wants to see it. It's not me, you know? So if you can find that, won't you bring it here? If you discover the Amira that exists here and there, you should be able to get your hands on it. Oh, I think I heard about that quest. In order to do that, I need to actually recruit Amira. I don't know if I can do this. Ah! Run away! Oh. Oh. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Anyway, the other thing, the other thing I can do. So, Coliseum, gold and silver trophies. Hmm. Now, the race matches means you need to put together a party consisting of one race. Here, when you're messing with your party, you can swap between the different races you have available. You get a number of high-level succubi for free. But I'm actually going to go with mermaids. When I was leveling off screen, I had two of them in my party, so they're level 60. And the last one will be Heine. Whoops. So I've already got the other three mermaids in my party. An interesting coincidence. So once your first four are all the same race, in this case, mermaids, you'll be able to enter a race match.
Mm. Most of the time I win this. Some of the time I win this. Okay, so I've won once or twice out of four or five attempts. Hmm. I think it was on that first page. Yeah, here we are. Mermaids. So this is the uh, fish song cup. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. It's three matches. Match one. Yay, you win. Round two. A little harder. Luka team, that's two. Now, the final match. Well, I lost. Hmm. Well, I'll be back shortly. Okay, here I am. It's actually pretty short to get back to here. But I'll attempt it again. Fortunately, there's not much penalty. Ha! There, I won. How about that? So, the winner is Luka Team. Let's hear your applause. And we get a a harp book and a silver trophy. Yay for us. Alright, I took Puppy out in order to put Heine in, so let's go back. Oh, Hell died in there. Ah, that's more like it. Yeah. Strange, a little earlier I saw Minnie wearing a shield, and now she isn't. Maybe I got confused. So the next one is the survival. This should go well. Now, in order to get the gold trophy, we'll have to last five rounds. Oh, that was a sound I didn't want to hear. I think we're done. Huh. This reminds me of the Labyrinth of Chaos from the first chapter. Sometimes there would be these enemies that would reflect stuff back at you. Hey, it's Kitsune and Kamenro. Okay, that's five matches and we can retire now or continue. But we need to get to ten, so we're not getting yet. Anyway, in the Labyrinth of Chaos, occasionally there were enemies that could reflect physical attacks or reflect magical attacks. And eventually I figured out how to deal with them was to equip my characters with attacks that could not be reflected by either. There's that sound again. And I lost. And much like the Labyrinth of Chaos, even though I lost, I don't see the death scene. So I can try again right away. Also, like the Labyrinth of Chaos, the encounters are random. So I may or may not actually find any of those characters that will be a problem. Crap, it's riots. Jeez. Wow. Now, since all my characters are equipped with the recover at end of battle ability, I think even if they die in battle, they're resuscitated for the next match. Which is convenient. Funny how all of these enemies are from the first chapter, though. 
It makes you think they'd be weak, but they're... Oh, that's 10. I got the gold trophy for that. Yes, I won't really want to quit. So now we can pick up the Queen Elf. Oops. You know what I did? I unequipped everybody of everything, including... Oh, hi, random trick fairy girl. So... Man, I spaced out. I think those girls were drawn by the same person who... Drew Son Goku. There you go. The no encounters item. Alright, she explains again the silver trophy you get for race matches. Any race is fine, and the gold trophy you get in this five, of course. Yeah, you really don't know a lot about this. So, we show her the silver trophy. Ah, this shining. It is wonderful. What race title did you go for here? Was it noble monsters? Or perhaps dragons? And we show her the gold trophy. Ah, truly wonderful. That someone, a newcomer to the arena, can win with sheer spirit. Ah, uh, it's been 276 years. Hmm. Why don't we go see it together, the Colosseum? No, no, no. I have no interest in these trophies. It's just proof, a way of showing that you are strong. That's all. How about this? Yes, you kept your end of the bargain, so I'll keep my end as well and join you on your journey. Looks like her name is Freya. Nice. And for future learning purposes, it would be okay to go to the Colosseum. Of course, it's just so I can witness barbarism with my own eyes, right? Uh, you are as expected. Hmm, well, it's alright uh, for her to have a hobby. Funny how the fastest way to get to the entrance is to harpy feather out of there. Well, we're not done recruiting, recruiting queens yet. This is the Queen Ararani. The fruit of the world tree, which we request whatever is now ready. So go ahead and take it. Great. Thank you very much. With this, we should be able to heal the Queen Harpy's illness. So we need to go north of the Harpiness of Happiness Village to the Harpy Tower. So then, what need do you have of me? Ask her to join you, and she says she'd be happy. But, there's something she must do first. Before I can go with you on your journey, I need to arrange for a new queen. The one who should become queen next is Alora Priestus. You're listening, right? It's you. Hmm. I absolutely refuse. Absolutely not. Yeah, jeez. You're smiling like that, like you finally told me, or something. I won't do the job of being queen. Just being the leader of Plansect Village, the burden was heavy on me. Well, the management of that village was, is extremely heavy. And because you were able to overcome that, you have the qualifications to be the queen. It makes my stomach hurt. 
I absolutely refuse. So in order to inherit the throne, it's necessary to get the seedling of light. It's this seedling that has absorbed a lot of energy from the sun and the air will accept its power. It will offer up its power to the air. You're ignoring me, are you? So with this sunlight energy gathered, it's in gold, it's on the gold shore. And there we'll find the seedling of light. No, we won't. Gee, she's just being contrary. So once you find that, carefully bring it here. And then we can have the ceremony to anoint the new queen. It's a farce. So then, I'm counting on you, Hero Luca. If we can get this queen anoint queen cor queen coronation thing going, then I'll join you on your journey. You're completely ignoring my opinions. Huh, so what do we do here? Well, in any case, let's get this seedling of light and bring it here. After that, we can let these two plants fight it out. Yeah, that'll be a discussion. Okay, let's go to Gold Shore. Gold Beach. I think that's better. Let's go to Gold Beach and find this seedling of light. Boy, the crap they make us do to recruit these people. Okay, seedling of light should be around here. Well, it absorbs the power of sunlight and will be necessary for the next queen. So, it's uh, kind of a bother to look for it. But it won't be on the beach. We should check in the grassier areas. There's no need to look for it, is, is there? Why don't we just leave it be? Hmm. Oh look, I found it. Here it is. Here, this is it. We got the seedling of light. Hmm, so you found it. So then, let's go ahead and destroy it. Huh? That takes a long time to produce. It's been bathing in sunlight and absorbing the energy. If we destroy it, the energy will be lost. And if we do that, naturally, I won't be able to be queen. So, let's do it. Man, you're irresponsible. But, no. We've been entrusted to get this back to the Queen Alarone. And you need to work out your differences. Seriously. We can't destroy this. Ha! I found an opening. Yeah. So, she steals it away and throws it on the ground. It's smashed into pieces. So... If I had said yes with the... If I had said yes, let's destroy it, would she have not destroyed it? Probably not, huh? Okay, then. Now I won't be able to become queen. Ah, uh, how horrible. So the broken seedling of light starts overflowing with these light particles. And the light particles enwrap themselves around Priestess's body. Don't tell me. No way. Hmm. Priestess became Queen Alraune. A Queen Alraune? Or something. This is. No way. I've been had. Sucker. Well, I guess so. Ha 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 ha. You really fell for it. 
Priestess. I knew that you would destroy the seedling. In order to inherit the throne, there is no need for a ceremony. You just need to release the energy that's been stored up in the seedling. That's the face of someone who just got suckered. Ha 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 We got you, I got you. Foolish child, foolish child. <laughs> so we got two queens laughing it up around here. So, this is complete and irreversible. You become a queen out of Ah, uh, it feels like I finally lowered a great weight off of my shoulders. Eh. Yeah, without forcing your responsibilities onto another, your shoulders would be light, wouldn't they? And don't tell me you've still got some brainwashing problems going on here. Uh, this is kind of a stress society thing. Yeah, these old Rane are kind of neurotic when it comes to being stressed out. In any case, I've become this way and that can't be helped now. So why don't I start a fearful go So why don't I start up some fearful governments? That doesn't sound bad. Look, we Alrane are all pretty peaceful. Even if you say stuff like that, you won't be able to stomach much in the way of evil deeds. Uh, so being as that being as it is, everyone. I've been forced to become a queen, but I'll continue with you on your journey. Don't mind. Do not mind that. So she joins my party. In a new form. So, now that the new queen has taken the throne. There's nothing left for her here, so she'll join us on our journey as well. Oh, her name is Aluruna. Aluruna. Oh, nice. Oh, but anyway. This is a wonderful feeling of release. Ah, the air I breathe while not being queen is so delicious. Oh, that is terribly lovely. The air I breathe while being queen tastes like bile. These Alrone. Okay. As the one who came before you, let me give you one final piece of advice. You should search out someone to take over after you and set them up as the leader of Plansect Village. And after that, tell them to search for the Seedling of Light. You'll get her good. Don't tell me that you too... Yes. My predecessor did it to me. And she too, and her predecessor before that, were all caught up in the same way, I've heard. We're pretty black, all of us. Well, we're plants, so we're green. Welcome to the green society. Ah, ha, 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 we just can't say anything more here. Pretty much accurate. Let's see, Sarun. And I still have more girls to recruit. So what could I possibly be doing here? Guess what, I can recruit her as well. 
And so, the preparations for the wedding are proceeding. So, have you come for, here for any reason other than to see my face? Oh, joining you on your journey, huh? That doesn't sound bad, but there's something I need to do still. I, once upon a time, ascended to the throne of Queen Insect. But those who were jealous of me had me deposed. So now, again, I'd like to return to the, to the throne in order to vindicate the injustice. I mean, it's bothering me so much I can't sleep at night. So, Sonny, would you like to help me retake the throne? If I become queen, then it will also be... It will also bring eminence to your cause. Eh, okay. Oh, I thank you, Sonny. So then, let's talk about what we need to do. Well, in order to become queen, you need to get consent from the various leaders. The electors for the queen insect happen to be myself, and the queen ant, the queen bee, and the Queen Roach. Four of us. The Queen Roach's whereabouts are unknown, so the remainders are the Queen Ant and Queen Bee. We need to get their consent. Hmm, if there are four electors, then in order to have a majority, you need three. In other words, we need both of them to agree. So even if we have to use force, let's get them to ascent. First of all, let's go to where our Queen Bee is, in the Red Mountains. I really don't think this will go well just talking to them though. Queen Bee, Red Mountains, huh? How about the Mao Castle? Okay, so we're here. So that being how it is, I'm going to be Queen. So, give me your vote. I refuse. Have you forgotten why we deposed you from this throne before? You didn't consider all of the insects in your duties and you, and you uh, enacted a tyranny. You've even been brand, received a brand that you are unfit, uh, disqualified as a queen. She's been branded? I gotta see that. <clears throat> um, anyway. Since then, I've had a change of heart. Isn't that right, Sonny? I really don't think so. <clears throat> you would disagree with me here. As expected of you, Sonny. This must be a trial of love. Um... What the hell is this trial of love nonsense? Your betrothed doesn't even trust you here. So then you're really thinking to become queen? I will not recognize it. They aren't betrothed! <laughs> Sonia, you need to get used to the fact that Luca's gonna have a harm. You can be a part of it. Nobody minds. <clears throat> anyway. If you're not going to recognize it, then how about I use force and get it to get it from you? Very well. Even if it costs me all the strength in my body, I'm going to prevent you from taking the throne. In that case, why don't I assist as well? Ah, oh, man. It's the Queen Ant. This feckless woman to become queen, I won't allow it either. So even if by force we're going to stop this. Queen Ant. Well, this is actually convenient. 
if we're all gathered here in one place, then getting the votes will be that much easier. We won't allow you, so let's go. So we are going to defeat the future tyrant here and now. Huh. Man, this has become bothersome. So, with whom shall we side? Sunny, my heart has changed. Since I'm going to become your bride, I absolutely won't do any tyranny or any such thing. I swear it. Luca, do not be fooled. She will, without fail, cause harm to this world. Huh, okay, one or the other. Well, I'm all for forgiving people who are willing to say they've had a change of heart. Although if she goes bad, I'll have to kick her out as well. In any case. So, you don't understand our point of view. In that case, we're going to stop you by force. Don't think badly of us, hero Luca. Since you've taken sides with the Spider Empress, we aren't going to hold back. Go get him, Sonny! Once you defeat them, we get to steal their votes. Is that really how it works? So, Queen Bee and Queen Anne. I don't like fighting my own allies. Hmm. We've lost. Damn it. So, it's our victory. We're going to be taking your votes now. And we get two vote tickets. So these electors, these votes, aren't like individual rights. They are literally just voting tickets. So together with the one I have, that makes three. With this, we've got a majority. And the Spider Empress became the Queen Insect. This is a little different than the Queen Aldorani nonsense. Oh, this is horrible. Once again, the tyrant has taken the throne. Didn't I tell you, I'm not going to impose tyranny. Since I've met my husband here, I know love now. Hmm, hero Luca. No matter what, if this person goes berserk, you need to keep an eye out for it. Um, okay. So then, my ambition's been fulfilled. And I've once again ascended to a queen insect. So then, Sunny, I offer up my body and my heart to you. Great, more people in my party. So then, Sonny, how about we tonight exchange vows? Well, when, a Japanese, when they use these particular words for exchange vows, they could literally be mean exchange vows, or she could be literally, be, or she could be talking about sex. It's kind of a gray area. Oh yeah, Sonia's jealous. Do I need to explain? Oh, it seems like I hear the buzzing of an insect. Sonny. What's that troublesome insect's name? Well, Sonia, but... So, bugs that interfere in other people's love lives get kicked by horses and die, it is said. So, this interfering insect named Sonia should be careful of horses. Hmm. Apparently, some kind of Japanese saying, right? In any case, she absolutely won't recognize this. Um, it's gotten kind of tense around here. Why don't we all calm down a little? Luca, you're too cowardly here. Oh, oh. 
the interfering insect's face has gotten all red and now she's screaming. How scary, how scary. Sonny, won't you console me? That's another way of asking for sex. Mmm, Sonia isn't happy. So, she joined our party. What would have happened if we had sided with Queen Anne and Queen Bee, I wonder? Hmm, maybe we'll find out next time. But not this time, because we still have things to do. Go thou gold port. I'm guessing the number of you that are surprised that I'm going to attempt to recruit this queen is around zero. Yes, I'm going to attempt to recruit the queen vampire as well. So, are you here to kiss my feet or exult in your victory over me? Or maybe you have some other purpose? Um, yeah. Become my ally. Well, 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 you've got good taste. But my dominance of the world is not yet complete. In that case, your majesty. How about we enlist Lucas' help in your ambition? That's right. Because it's Lucas, he'll probably help out. Hmm, I see. So in exchange for becoming your ally, you're going to help me with my ambitions. Um, wait just a second. We're not going to be helping out with the uh, conquest of the world here. Oh, don't get so ahead of yourself. Since I've lost to you, I'm not going to do any ruling by force. So, I'm going to rule the world economically. My ambition has now become global. Oh, wonderful, your majesty. In that case, it's time for that plan at last. The extendable business model plan. Ah, uh, finally time to put it in action. There is no way that I get any kind of good feeling about what's going to happen now. Mm -hmm. The extensible business model plan. It is a vampire pub. So we're going to open our number one vampire pub in Sabasa. And if business goes well, we'll become a worldwide operation. Isn't that just a ripoff of the mermaid pubs? Yeah, there are a couple of those. I haven't visited them in my Let's Play because, well, they're a sideshow. They don't even have any named characters in them, in any case. All right, Hero Luca, I'm going to have you help me out here. Amongst my brethren, is there anybody knowledgeable in mercantilism? Well, that's all right. In commerce, that's right. Well, I can be of help to you. It'd be an honor if I could be of help to you. Oh, this is my little brethren. But I can see that you are skilled. In order to open a pub in Savasa, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, there's you need to get your hands on some real estate. After that, there's business registration and dealing with the laws regulating adult entertainment. Hmm, okay, I'll leave it all to you. As regards payment for the real estate, all expenses you can route through Elizabeth. So then, first of all, the place. Let's see. Going by this list of vacant buildings in Savasa. Why are you carrying around such a list? <clears throat> there probably won't be any good buildings. We'd like something on the main drag. Would be ideal. Oh! 
A good building for sale does happen to be here. On the main street, third block, S16. Hmm. That number, I seem to remember it. If I remember, it's where the Assassin Salon's home was. It was a beat up old house. Okay then. Let's get to Sabasa right away. Alright, I leave it to you. I'll be waiting here. Mama, <laughs> Sabasa. You don't need to remind me. Honestly, we weren't here that long ago. Although I guess I've played through this chapter two or three times since... Well, immediately before starting this Let's Play. So, Vanilla. I've heard that this house is for sale. The Queen of Vampires would like to buy it. Well... If you can pay the money, then I don't mind. I've kind of lost my reason for l staying here, after all. Sorry, then. Let's get with the stamping. So they work the stuff out. Okay, then. For now, I won't be staying in this building any longer. I'll stay in the pocket Mao castle for a moment. So we could come back here to have an another match with her anytime we liked, but now she won't be available. So the purchase went well. In that case, let's go ahead and call the queen. Hmm. This is pretty run down, but the location and the size is not bad. Yes, let's make this our number one vampire pub. What's necessary next is a high-class red carpet. We, the proud vampires, need something of appropriate class on which to rest our feet. Hmm. In that case, a red carpet. Why don't we go to the sheep at the forest of sheep? They, sh they had a people who were making carpets. Huh, forest of sheep, huh? As I recall, yeah, we know where it is. I just went there a couple episodes ago. So, let's go to the forest of sheep for some high-class carpets. All right, I leave it all to you. The expenses, be sure to direct to Elizabeth. So, while you're out doing that, we're going to clean this place up. We can do at least that much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you need? I need a high-class carpet. I need a high-class red carpet for use in a palace. So, the payment will be such and such. <laughs> okay then. Alright. Shitsuji, it's time to work. Alright. Maton, come here. I hope this is humane. Maybe it isn't humane. <clears throat> so, that was the thing that happened. So, here you go. One high-class carpet. A palace carpet. Alright, we got our hands on the, the carpet. So, let's return to Salasa. I like carpets when they're nice and fresh. And those sheep make only the freshest carpets. <clears throat> okay. This is truly a good piece of work here. Next we need tables and chairs. 
and also the alcohol. Well, we're going to bring the tables and chairs and the counters and such from the Vampire Citadel. You guys, I would like to request procure a supply of alcohol. Of course, it can't be any of that cheap crap. Only the finest of fine wines, please. In that case, the alcohol making guild would be best to talk to. Furthermore, the one at the top of that organization. If you're talking about alcohol making guild, wouldn't that be about Razaro's organization? Is it alright to be connected with the black market? Hmm, I don't mind. After all, we are creatures who live in darkness. So then, I'm counting on the alcohol supply to you. And while you're there, we're going to set up the tables and chairs and nonsense. So, once you bring the alcohol, we can open the Vampire Pub. So, right away, let's go to Don Father. Oh, you know, by the way, you should come see me in the pocket my old castle. I'm not in my lair in Grand, Grand Old. Hmm, yeah. Whoops. You know what, Queen Vampire? I hope you're worth all the trouble you're making me go through. This is like three different quests. In the amount of time it's recruiting you by yourself, I probably got those other three queens. Okay. In order for us to open up a vampire pub, we need some high quality alcohol. Ah yes, I heard. So, Missy. You're coming here as representative of the Queen, is that right? Yes, of course. So then, the amount that we're going to need is etc, etc. Ah, sounds good. All okay here. You're not bad at this. Well, as expected of the dawn of the underworld, you're pretty good yourself. But, it's quite the good exchange. So, that's a supply of alcohol. As you can see, it's all put together splendidly. And everything is thanks to you. So starting tomorrow, we're open for business. So, rest well tonight. Hmm, in that case, we'll stay at the inn. And tomorrow, we'll see how things are going. Alright, so today's the day the Vampire Pub opens. Let's go take a look. Oh, it looks like it's... business is really booming. And this high-class alcohol they're serving is beer, no wine, Gold cocktails and coffees. They straight up have beer. What happened to this fine wine? Hmm, anyway. So it's you. As you can see, this is quite the prosperous place. We did it! So you have my gratitude, little brethren. Thanks to all you've put into this, our race the work you've put into this is going to be inscribed in the history of our race. Yeah, <laughs> good job, Vanilla. So I too need to fulfill the conditions of my promise. So I will be accompanying you and using all of my power to your benefit. Fatima, huh? So, my proper name is Fatima. The, the awakening of darkness is the meaning of the word Fat, of the name Fatima. You may speak it freely. Oh, 
That's such a cool proper name, as expected of our queen. All I've got is this nickname, Vanilla. I don't even have a proper name. Hmm. Poor Vanilla. Well, I think Vanilla's a fine name, but... Alright then, little brethren. Your queen shall give you a proper name. How about... Gure Gure? Thank you very much! Oh, you're so happy you're crying. It should have... it would have been better to... Have, re have rejected it, Vanilla. Yeah, that's a bad name. Gure Gure. Well, at least it says Vanilla just like usual here. Interestingly, if you have the two of them talk in the Mao castle, her name comes up as Gure Gure. Still, I can't believe that kind of name. In any case. Okay, vampires, spiders, elves, Alvarani. Oh, yes, I am missing someone. We talked about it, and I forgot about it. Because those Alvarani were so much... <laughs> were so hilarious. Um, but actually, they were troublesome and distracting, and... They made me forget I need to come here and... Give the fruit of the world tree to the Queen Harpy. Oh, jeez, I can't take it any longer. I'm at my limit. We brought the fruit of the world tree. Please, give it here. So, she eats the fruit of the world tree, and its mysterious power relieves the fever in her body. Ah, the heat in my body has disappeared. Ah, how long has it been since I felt this at ease? So, thank you very much, Hero Luca. Thanks to you, my body is re restored to health. And I've heard of your good deeds from the harpies that have come to attend me. For the sake of world peace, you've been fighting some violent battles, right? So, please put my power to good use. As the Queen of Harpies, I shall accompany you. Lucrezia. That's a cute name. But, Queen Harpy, isn't it true that you disliked battles? Our, our adventure has been a good string of battles. Is it really alright? It's true that I don't like to fight, but I do wield enough power not to shame my as leader not to shame my people as leader of their race. It's true that the previous queen liked the battles. And thanks to that the Harpy tribes were rather decimated in terms of numbers. The previous Queen Harpy was known as the Wings of Battle, Rifrezia. Strategic, she, as a strategi strate strategist, strategist, there we go. As a strategist, she was famous, and also as a warrior, she was first rate. But thanks to that, under her rulership, our battles were one, our history was one battle to the next, and ultimately our brethren's numbers ended up dwindling. While truly individually she was strong, she was disqualified as a general ruler. So when she died in battle, I, who acceded to the throne after her, have concentrated solely on the recovery of our race. Huh. Well, I guess it's natural that you would hate battles. But still. 
so as not to be inferior to her, I truly have my own capabilities. As Queen of Harpies, I won't let you down. Okay, great then. So we went and recruited five queens. Next up, the orbs. Since we did that nonsense with um, with the elf queen, something's going to happen in Yamata here. And one of these two villages we can't get to that are right outside Yamata are probably the elf village. In any case, we're going to see that next time. So thank you for watching, and next time we're going to do the red orb, the yellow orb, and possibly the blue orb.